Hi everyone, it's the English Sim here, aka professional Sims player. I am about to have eight Sims in a household and it feels like it's been the longest time since I did that. I'm a little bit worried. I'm even considering re-downloading MC Command Center so that I could maybe have more. I'm doing it for the plot. Speaking of the plot, I actually have Casper hanging out at his old house. Oh, Tremaine's having a little run on the treadmill because I did actually just have him wish on the wishing well for a promotion. Unfortunately, they said, this is your workplace calling with some wonderful news. Everyone here has been impressed with your work ethic. We're pleased to give you this bonus. We really wanted to promote you, but due to budgetary restrictions and ongoing headcount, I mean, if it's budget, then why are you giving me a pay rise? Like that doesn't seem to add up. I might be gay and bad at maths, but mm, two plus two is not equaling four here. And ongoing headcount limitations that simply wasn't possible. Hang in there, I'm sure we'll take care of you in the next review period. But whilst I was over here, this little map that obviously like completes itself every time you explore the caves started glistening and apparently I can discover a natural wonder. Now I don't actually know if I have ever done this in my Sims game. I also don't know if it's a great idea to do this whilst he is literally pregnant. He has 12 hours until he enters his third trimester. So luckily not like about to burst at any point. So I feel like that's a little less risky, but like, what is he gonna find? Also off screen, he did get a promotion. He's a level eight, he's an environmental manager, ready to take the next step in his career to reduce waste and consumption. Working with a number of recycling and energy conservation initiatives, he designs new practices for reducing the environmental impact of Sim on the planet. <gasps> heard a strange noise, sound echoing in the cave. He explored its depths following the reverberations. Whoa, big words. He discovered the mesmerizing sight of a rainbow pattern stalactites and reflected stalagmites. Forgetting about his intent for continued exploration, spent his time marveling at the window in front of him before deciding to head back out. Is that it? That's all okay. I mean, let's go and search for wildlife. Considering he is in the uh, conservation career, I feel like taking account of the wildlife that we have on the islands, in our caves, is a pretty good thing. I don't know if that actually relates to our career. No, these ones are the ones that relate to our career. The survey and take photo. Survey, survey. I feel like I've probably pissed you all off to the high heavens with how I pronounce that. And I've literally done it since the very start of his career. So he has what, like 18 days until he's aging up. I'm fairly sure we'll be able to hopefully get a promotion tomorrow. His work performance is currently on good. He's already done his daily task, which takes an age. In a moment of quiet between Casper's echoing footsteps, he hears the distinctive sound of dolphins reverberate towards him. All right, sir, you can actually, why do I not have the option to go home? I thought that he was gonna like travel there. I thought we were gonna have a Moana moment with the boat and then I'd be able to like read it off as he was traveling. No, the game said, uh, hmm, we may have vehicles, but we don't wanna use them. Hence why we don't have cars in this game yet. Do you think realistically we'll ever get a cars pack? I personally think we will, but I know many people don't think that. Excited to see dolphins in the wild. He followed the sound to the source. A pod of dolphins were playing in a cave pool, tossing around a massive seaweed Thank God it was just a seaweed because dolphins are evil and breaching the water. Why is he not eating? I told you to go eat. He's gonna go eat cupcakes. I mean, that isn't the sustenance that I was hoping for. Also, by the way, the triplets did age up. I forgot every single one of their birthdays. So they're all really, really sad about it. This is what happens. I responsibly told you lot to not expect much from me if you chose to have me have the five babies. I knew that I was only going to pay attention to the one and only Air, Air Mozo, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, Air is literally in the name. Sorry that he's having a main character moment. Didn't take long for the dolphins to spot Casper and bolt from the pool's exit stream. Left alone with the wad of seaweed that landed nearby the dolphins' escape, decided to move off. Sad he scared away at the dolphins. <gasps> 
Wow, rude. Casper, can't believe you bullied the dolphins in that way. Right, go to sleep. Do not woohoo with Rahul. Rahul, you also need some sleep. Oh, I also edited up their house. I wanted it, obviously, to look a little bit better. Now that we have four fully grown children, um, which can all of you go to sleep? Is this Jeremy? Yes, Jeremy has claimed this one, and then we are in the bottom bunk. And then this top bunk over here is for the fifth one that is on the way, the baby of the family, aka probably my second favorite. Any baby of the family, I'm sorry, it's probably a baby of the family trait, but I'm just like, yes, I choose you. If you were a Pokemon starter lineup, you would be Bulbasaur. How does a monster get under the bed when there are drawers? There's literally an inch of space here. Can I get a nightlight? Why did I spell it like that? Disgusting. That's an ick. I always feel like only the original works. Where even is the OG? The one with the teddy bears. We will slot it in between theirs. <laughs> Not the tifos. That's the scariest thing you've ever done, Melody. That is scarier than the, the monster under the bed. All right. Look, your nightlight is on. Emezo isn't even scared. You're all wusses. You weren't born into the darkness, molded by it. <laughs> Mozo clearly was. He has been living his whole life off the grid. He knows what darkness is like. Jeremy, you stole someone's bed. Get up there on your top bunk. To be fair, I think I made you steal the bed. The only negative is that uh, Mozo is actually gonna age up this part and I'm kind of worried about how we're actually gonna keep up his empathy because when he turns into a teenager, he's not gonna be able to play with this doctor's kit anymore anymore, which is honestly way more OP than I ever thought because it gets up their mental skill and also it gets up their fun need. So he has really just been absolutely killing it. We probably should have worked on his social a little bit more. I'm now only just realizing, can we even, we can, we can go practice speech because if he's going to be a vet, then he needs to be able to talk to people and talk to animals. That's why I'm also thinking of maybe getting MC command center because obviously when this new baby arrives we're gonna have eight sims in the household and I really want to get a mozo like a pet like I want to get him a cat or a dog honestly probably a cat Ooh, yes okay he started making moves on the charisma skill he's no longer tired though so let's send him back to sleep he can however volunteer I'm fairly sure when he's a teenager so I think that's probably the best way to continue on his empathy and I also kind of want Rahul to work on his parenting skill because obviously the higher up you are in the parenting skill then the more choices you get when your kid asks you a question. Why are you all so in sync? These triplets are so weird bro. Go and take a shower. You can grab something to eat even though I'm fairly sure we probably don't have. Oh my god we have loads of stuff. And then you can also eat. Oh my god, I'm actually paying attention to the children. Aren't you proud of me? Yes, I do still do this with the ghost. See, that's the other thing. Uh, without having MC Command Center, we technically could send Sylvester to look after our big home. I honestly think Sylvie would kind of love that. Just like absolutely run amok in our original house. How Tremaine is still holding on, I will never know. I think that she has found a way to just like befriend friend the Grim Reaper and that means that the Grim Reaper is just never gonna find her. It is extremely, extremely suspicious. Oh, look at Rahul getting the batter ready and everything for his son's birthday cake. I'm telling you, the air gets the celebrity treatment in this household. Two minutes until ready. All right, let's collect those prepped ingredients and then we will make ourselves a little cake for him. I think we'll go for a chocolate cake. Did we already have butter in our fridge or did you weirdly just like collect it from your fridge? That was very, very strange considering it was literally telling me that I had not. Maybe I didn't have enough. Maybe I had like two when in reality I needed three. He wants to woohoo in a bush from loving the outdoors. I mean, I'm fairly sure we can, uh, we can get a little treat set up for you, uh, Rahul. Grades are up. Oh my goodness, Emozo 
is an A grade student. This is great for our little veterinary. Oh, the blue egg went off. That's so annoying. Um, it's fine. Like that was a little bit dramatic of me to be that annoyed about, but it is slightly annoying. Um, we're actually gonna go recycle that because we do still care about the environment. Obviously, caring about the chickens and caring about animals, it kind of comes hand in hand with that. Oh, he's a little bit stinky. The teenage hormones are really starting. Who said we didn't have preteens in this game? We are just gonna go for whatever. Jeremy, oh, Melody, get out. It is not your birthday, therefore I get the shower. I should actually check like how much, let's show Bill's information. We definitely have an overload of power and water, which is great. <gasps> Promoted to environmental ambassador, go on Casper, shoot nature documentary. Oh my goodness, why did I say it like that? Um, we do need to continue preparing grants, which is going to be rather difficult, especially when we're trying to celebrate a birthday. Also, you, yep, you're still in the shower, so I can't take care of your father's needs just yet. Can you actually get in here, get some leftovers? We will just have the scrambled eggs with bacon. All right, and then you can use this for me, and then you, sir, are actually, whilst everybody is is pretty much here. Uh, is the cake still around? I think I put it in my fridge, hopefully. Oh, we already had a hamburger cake. Place that in the center and let's go make a wish. I can't believe our heir is about to be a teenager. This is so exciting. I definitely think we'll try volunteering today. I think you could probably do that like once a day. He is purely doing it out of the goodness of his own heart. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy's the only one who's celebrating. I don't know why Casper decided to go eat on his brother's bed. He's like, hmm, you're gone. You are leaving. Aiden has sent a mozo a gift. We've actually got a bunch of gifts. We are going to randomize three times childish and child of the ocean. He said, I will stay young forever. Call me Peter Pan. Is there one to be a vet? Is there like an aspiration for vets? Or is there just animal? This sim wants to be friends with the animals. I'm gonna choose that one. Before I do that though, have a cat or dog in your household. I'm sorry, Casper. Oh, Sylvester. <laughs> How many parts has it been since Sylvester wasn't the heir? I'm gonna move him into the big house. And then I think we're gonna give uh, Mozo this little like back room. Be friends with one cat or dog and be friendly with a cat or dog 12 times. We're definitely adopting a cat as his birthday present. Hello, what happened to your eyebrows? The Langrab jeans are extremely strong with her mozo. Let me just fill those bad boys in a little bit. Yeah, that that I can handle. Okay, uh, mozo. I wasn't expecting this glow up. I really could never have pulled this. I kind of made him like a little bit farmery because obviously he's still taking care of the chickens right now. He's also dressed in a way that still fits in with the Sulani vibe, but I genuinely think we might move out of Sulani. Like, I have been living here since the beginning of uh, this challenge. We're like six generations deep now, and I kind of, I don't know if I want to go to Brindleton Bay. I kind of want to go uh, to uh, the world that was introduced with uh, For Rent, because I just feel like that kind of has a little bit of Sulani vibes. I've been wanting to go there for a while. I was actually going to move Casper there, but then once we actually got this like own little island, and we still are off the grid and everything like that. I just felt as if Casper was rather settled and honestly kind of fit in with the vibes of Sulani. Speaking of Casper, because of all of his promotions, he also did unlock the workaholic lifestyle. As you all know, I was definitely trying to go for that last time. Needs decay slower whilst at work, increase work performance gain, difficulty in keeping long-term relationships, can go to work on off hours 
hours and demand a promotion from boss. I don't actually know how you go about demanding a promotion. I haven't seen it so far, but we can consult on global policy. Now, this is part of his job as an environmental manager. Please do not die by flies. I will be so mad if we have another heir who puts themselves in harm way. So these are the global policies. Like I said, I haven't played with this in the longest time. I don't even really know what they do. Controlling invasive fish. Invasive fish species are pushing native species out of their ecosystems. A bounty should be enacted to reward fishermen for catching these invasive fish. Doesn't matter where they go after they're sold as long as they aren't in the ocean anymore. Consult on this policy to regulate the population of invasive species by doubling the value of wanted fish. The policy includes the celestial grouper, carp, perch, goldfish, and lionfish. Manage overfishing, which means that it's actually banned from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Only morning or night fishing is allowed. People get more money if they have coconuts on their lot. Supporting organic produce. It will increase the price of cooking, but it will also make sure everyone's more energetic and healthy. Water purifying solution. Regulate pollution of tap water. The videos of the purifying solution can't be lying right. Littering fines. I think we're gonna go for that one. There is an energy curfew. So between the hours of 12 a.m. and 6 a.m., no one can use electricity. And then there is also a green energy rebate. We're gonna go for the littering fines. Um, honestly, we'll probably get them on this lot because we are terrible. We leave litter literally everywhere. Continue consulting on the policy until it's enacted. What? I don't actually think I've ever done this before. Negotiate a bonus. Consult on global policy. Check progress on global policy. Is there anything that we can do on our computer when it comes to that? Conservationist, uh, what did we need to do? We need to sleep. We need to prepare a grant application again. Right, let's try and go about that. Littering fines policy is 20% complete. Con continue consulting on it. Oh no, he's burnt out. Burnout negatively impacts work performance. He'll recover over time, but taking breaks and relaxing. Bloody hell, this is not what I needed whilst I was trying to get myself a promotion. We need to get the promotions really done before he moves out, which how long do we have? 11 days. Oh, blooming heck, his responsible trait. I forgot about that. How do we volunteer with the family? Oh, there we go. It's an under travel. Send up to eight household members to volunteer for an activity. We're just gonna send a mozo. Bake sale, beach cleanup, nursing home, soup kitchen, or fight disease. We're gonna do a beach cleanup. Obviously, very, very close to home. We know our dad has been working tirelessly to actually get that littering put in. So, of course, we're gonna try and help him out a little bit. Where are you, little one? Uh, you can go to sleep for me. And then I think we're gonna move Sylvie out. I feel so bad doing this, but I kind of want to adopt a cat when he gets back. This also technically means that the house will stay ours forever because obviously Sylvie is already a ghost, which means that he can't die again, which just means that the big property is going to stay in our family, which I actually really, really want. We are going to give him some simoleons. Um, honestly, I feel like Casper would be like, take 4,000 simoleons. Like we have a dumpster. We can literally search for deals at any time other than right now because they just recycled our dumpster, but it will get filled up very quickly again. We have five children still on the lot, which means we are producing an awful lot of bottles. I am a little bit scared about what inventory it just took. I'm hoping that our main inventory is still at the home because there were actually, his award was in there that he got from the charitable event that we threw in the last part. And also like a cot and stuff, which would be quite nice because obviously we are about to have another child. A child. Oh, Bluminell, he's back from his volunteering early because it over right at it but that's fine that means that we can actually adopt ourselves um a cat how i literally have not done this in the longest time is it under home paul adoption agency it does make me laugh that adopting a cat and dog is also listed like right above adopting a child <gasps> 
It's definitely not good for a pregnant man to fall asleep this way. Casper, please don't give birth like that. Honestly, if that's a glimpse into the future, I don't wanna pay attention to it. Right, I'm sending him outside because I'm sick of him wanting to go to bed. I don't know why that's overriding everything. Call the adoption agency and try, what is happening here? Why can we not adopt one? Oh, is it because we're off the grid? Is it like weirdly not letting me use my phone even though I have power and I've been able to use it this whole time. Okay, I wish I had like chosen just based off vibes. Grant. Grant all the way. Adult male neutered. I want Grant. Are you kidding me? Here's the agency. Sakura, place my little Granty down. Do not go. We need to. Oh my god. He looks like Fred. Fred used to have a stripe down at his back. Let's give him a little cautious introduction. He's just sniffing around. Yeah, that's a puddle. Don't worry. It's not from another animal. <laughs> I love him, your honor. Does short lifespan also affect pets? Because that's actually gonna be really, really sad. We're gonna try and pet him a little bit and talk to him. And also, oh, he's letting us stroke him and stuff. I think he's vibing. He said, this is my puddle now. Oh, uh, we have cockroaches. Dude, Rahul, can you try and clear those cockroaches? Can we get Grant to do it? Grant's limbering up. Grant's like, let me at him, let me at him. We're gonna try and offer our friendship and see if he takes it. We're already pretty close with him. Adoption agency person is like, ugh, this house is disgusting. Do I actually want to leave this cat here? Like, will Grant be safe? Right, we are gonna choose to adopt him. She's like, I don't think this house is good enough. She's like, like, ew, it's vile. There are puddles on the floor. I know that Grant didn't make them because I've been watching the whole time. We're already friends. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility. We're keeping his name as Grant and he is part of the Singleton gang. So therefore his name is Grant Singleton. Oh, he's so cute. He looks terrified. He's like, what have I been adopted into? Don't worry, that's how all of our science babies felt too. The horror on this cat's face. He's seen things that you could never possibly imagine. When they say uh, their owners look like their pets, what do you think? Do you think it's true? I didn't even see uh, what his traits were. Friendly, free spirit, and curious. Days until aging up 15. Do you reckon once we get into the vet career, we can just like create the treat that ages him down so that he doesn't grow up? I I wanna keep him around forever. Maybe that's what he's seen. He's seen his future. Secura is leaving. Your adoption evaluation appointment is ending, but we adopted him, right? Why is he chasing you? <gasps> Don't go home with her. You're with me now forever. I love how he looks like a little fox. That's so cute. Anyways, we are gonna wrap up here. I cannot believe that we got a little cat for our birthday. That is so exciting. I will uh, buy some stuff for him. Don't worry, I'm gonna get him decked out. We're gonna get him his own little pet bed and food bowl. Honestly, I just don't trust the triplets with an animal. But thank you all so much for being here and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye now.